This video is actually one of the most requested one which is the how do you draw the hair. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I uh, draw hair and how I render it afterwards. So here's an example of how I draw the hair. First thing you want to do is know where the flow of the hair is going. Yeah, so as you can see here, if I put this like lines here and it looks so flat, it looks so not believable and it's just not so 3D. Sometimes you actually have to think in 3D to actually make believable or work. When you think of a 3D space, right? You think of like the dimension and stuff and like, you know, there's um, uh, shadows and stuff. And if you think in 2D, it would be flat. So we don't want to think in 2D. 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 We don't want to think in 2D. Here's an example of the hair that is flowing downwards. And you can see that if we follow the flow of the hair strands, it'll give us a more believable looking hair. Like the highlights here compared to this one looks more accurate than the flat looking one right here. Remember that if we're doing like stylized, we don't have to make it super accurate. Just We just have to make it believable enough for the viewer's perception. Next one is when you draw the hair and it, it's like windy or the character is moving. The hair should flow to the direction of where the wind blows. So here's an example of the wind blowing from the left side. The viewer will already determine which side the wind blows because of where the hair goes and at the right side here you can see that the hair is like going everywhere so it's more difficult to determine the sense of movement of the hair. If the wind is coming from the left and the hair looks like this where uh huh here's a reference that i uh, got from pinterest so you can see here is the flow of the hair you can see all of the flow of the hair is going like this and the highlights should be like this here on this top right here the highlight is supposed to be there not like this flat and just lines straight so we want to put the highlights in there it's kind of like circular on top and not put the highlights just everywhere now with curly hair right here i black out the shape or the big black of shape of the hair first then i erase the edges to create that curly silhouette when it starts to look believable i added the extra strands on the front using big circles combined with smaller ones the light source is coming from the top so i'll add the part of the hair that the light will hit with big and small small circles then add the kind of like highlights at the top or like I add, I'll add another value, a lighter value to the part of the hair that is closest to the light source. I added a little bit of shading here on the face for the bounce light values. So here's the bald head and you can see like we have these thirds right so there's one two this one two three so there's three thirds wait let me just uh perfect the line perfect you get the point the first thirds you can see that that's the point where we're gonna start that's our starting point because if you don't know where your starting point is well now that we know our starting point of the hair, we can now easily put any hairstyle on our character like bangs, side bangs, middle part, whatever you want to create. Embarrassing. Before we continue to the video, a quick thanks to XP Band for sponsoring today's video. Thank you so much! So here's what I've worked on um, the XP Pen 
I'm not finished yet, but here's a preview of what I'm about to post. I don't know when I'm gonna post this artwork actually, but like, it's still a work in progress. But yeah, I was experimenting on the XP pin and it, um, the only thing that I don't like is the cursor offset at, for, at the beginning because it was kind of off if you tilt it. But you can like uh, fix that here. You just I set mine to 5.5 dp and it works fine and nonetheless the tablet is great, it does the job. I love the free Ibis Paint X for like 3 months and it's also good if you're an artist that is on the go and love to draw anywhere because if you love to draw anywhere, anytime, when you're at a cafe, when you're at a school, or when you're pooping. Maybe not, but... Thanks again, XP Pen. Now let's get back to the video. So here, I just filled in the base color for the hair. So look at this. If I put the highlight like this, it won't look as believable. Now, look at the reference. Let's look at the reference. It goes like this. Like, the flow of the hair goes like this. And as well as here it's look it's different like the bun so we want to make sure that the, the highlights of the hair is looking like this just look at it it's already starting to look accurate just from this red markings so now i added the multiply layer on top and then if you're wondering what brush i'm using i'm just using pen fade but i do have some custom brush that i use occasionally but like, if you want to scan some of my custom brushes it's viewable on my instagram highlights so here you can see this uh, like this side bangs and stuff i'm not gonna do this first so i only did what is like on this block of hair because i'm just gonna do that later because that strands additional strands will definitely like will mess up with our brain if we do it in the first beginning part of the process so here i'm just gonna kind of polish the rose so we can focus on the hair So now here I added this trend right now after I uh, done the roses. I'm using still I'm still using pen fade and for tiny strands of hair I use deep pen hard. I added another layer and it has the multiply layer on top just to add some color variation. After I added some color variation, I erased some parts where I wanted to, to put like strands on top of it. Now I'm adding the third highest value of the color, just like I've shown earlier on the curly hair, just the highlight of the hair. After I've done the highlights part, I erased some parts of the highlights where I wanted to be dark and you know the strands look more visible. So I erased some parts where I don't want the light to hit it. So you can still see the strands of the hair where it's flowing. When I'm rendering the hair, I like to put extra strands to give it that illusion of detail to the hair. Finish it off, I add um, some highlights here on the side. I airbrush some here just to give that cinematic dramatic effect on the hair. So I added that and the layer, the blending mode layer that I use is soft light. So here's the speed paint of the hair that I'm creating a while ago. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you've learned something. I don't know if this video is too fast paced or let me know if you want it to be slower or it's just at the right pace. But yeah, please do let me know what your thoughts of this video and thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.